It was a uh, eye-opening weekend, and as I see some of the quotes from uh, Mayor Marty Small from Atlantic City, he declared a disaster emergency for the city and a 7 p.m. curfew from today through June the 9th. He said on Facebook Live, it's a damn shame. Everyone should be disappointed. This is hurtful. Today we worked with outsiders to trash our city. I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed. I'm hurt. Today was Atlantic City at its worst. I'm also saying everyone involved that made the situation escalate should be punished to the fullest extent of the law. That was yesterday. There was a tweet from the ACPD that said, unfortunately, the peaceful protest that took place earlier by many has transitioned by criminal activity now taking place by a few. If you can't avoid Atlantic City at this time. So what is this time? What does it look like now? What is next for the city? We bring in the mayor, Marty Small, right here on the Sports Pass Live on 97.3 ESPN. And you said earlier today, Mayor, first off, thank you for joining us. I know you got a lot going on over there. Uh, 17 arrests, six of them from Atlantic City, apologized to the businesses. So uh, I've seen some good videos today of people coming together and cleaning up the city. Uh, how has today been after a rough couple of days? Uh, yes, uh, first of all, Mike, good afternoon to your listening audience, and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, today was what we call a rebound. Uh, last night we saw the worst of Atlantic City, and today we saw the best of Atlantic City, the community coming through. Um, I made the clarion call for community cleanup, and a lot of volunteers came out and helped clean up parts of the city that was damaged. And uh, now, you know, we have to refocus our energy and efforts on uh, getting the business community back in shape and, um, you know, look forward to opening more and more businesses as we get through this crisis. How much do you think, you know, was escalated by the fact, I mean, I was wondering earlier, like if the stores were open yesterday, was stuff like this going on or was this inevitable to happen regardless? No, the store the stores weren't open. No, that's what I'm saying. If they because, were, if they were open, yeah. uh, would it have happened anyway? Or was it inevitable, regardless, just because uh, of what, uh, of how, uh, you know, uh, how much tension was going on? Did yeah, it matter I mean, that the I mean, stores listen, were open or not? Listen, it's it's good that people can express themselves as long as in a peace, peaceful form. Um, I can't get into the mind with someone with criminal intent. You know, some people want to do what they want to do, whatever the situation is. And we saw that uh, yesterday um, as we put that behind us. You know, we look forward to showcasing the good of Atlantic City and just understand that this was an isolated incident. We don't carry ourselves like this here in the city of Atlantic City. And the problem that I had was you had a lot of people in Atlantic City that was participating in the looting. A lot of people was doing Facebook Lives or recording it instead of stopping it because you should take pride in your city and uh, do everything that you can to support it. And I didn't see people doing that, and I called them out. You sure did. Uh, Mayor Marty Small is with us. So what are some of the steps moving forward? If there's people listening, I, I, we had somebody uh, call in earlier, said, you know, uh, that the city is accessible. You can get in and out. I know yesterday there were some tweets saying, hey, if you, if you can avoid the city, don't come over. Uh, what is the plans moving forward? I did see that there's a curfew 7 o'clock for the next week. Yes, yes. And, you know, I amend that, either shorten it or extend it based on the conditions. So at this point today, you said there's a lot of people out there helping. Uh, the, the pictures yesterday were, you know, obviously very impactful. How is the city looking now and today? Uh, is, a, is there Has there been a lot of cleanup? Yes, there's been a lot of cleanup. A tremendous job by the Special Improvement District under the leadership of Rick Santoro. Tremendous job by Paul Jerkins, our director of public safety here at the city of Atlantic City and all of their staffs and all the volunteers who came from near and far to help, you know, clean up the city after it was literally destroyed. Now, kind of give the people a little bit of information on what happened yesterday in terms of it, the reports that I saw uh, Mayor Small, were that everything was peaceful, that there was a lot going on uh, in a very positive light, that uh, there was a lot of peaceful movements happening when it all kind of spin out of control. Yeah, well, um, it, it started at the second second trip to the walk. I participated in a protest uh, at the Public Safety Building. We walked down to the walk, and then there was a rally at uh, Kennedy Plaza right in front of Boardwalk Hall. Mm -hmm. And then... 
you know, went down to the boardwalk, back to the public safety building, but, you know, I didn't left. And then they had a subsequent rally at the public safety building, and then another walk to the walk, and that's when it all broke loose. Yeah, and I see uh, some video today of cleaning up outside the walk. That area seemed to be the – is that the area that was impacted the most, the, the shopping outlets? Say it again. That area around the outlets, was that the area that was impacted the most? Obviously, that seems to be where a yes. lot of the stores yes. and looting was. Yes, yeah, yes, it was. And not only did people break, you know, the windows and do other things, they literally emptied out inventory of whatever was in the store. So um, there's a lot of work to be done. I spoke to Steve Tanger, um, you know, the owner of um, Tanger Outlets. I yeah. spoke to Donna Danielson um, as well and, you know, players the city support any way that we can. I heard from Senator Menendez's office about any help possible and, you know, we're going to explore all of those options for the businesses of Atlantic City. Well, uh, Mayor Small, I did want to also, you know, offer you the platform to talk to the people out there about, you know, uh, th that you w you love the city. Th that's evident. You and I are the same age. We grew up at the same exact time frame, and I know how much the city means to you and that yeah. you don't want – you know, the listeners should not feel that this is indicative, but this has been happening all over the place. There's not a plan to be prepared for something like this, but you are disappointed. Uh, but obviously, uh, you have a a love and passion for the city that I think the listeners uh, should really understand. Yes, I mean, listen, uh, Atlantic region, you know, the saying is so goes Atlantic City, so goes the state of New Jersey. Um, you know, we're a tourist destination, we're a worldwide destination, and, you know, we wanted to send a message that, yes, yesterday, uh, you know, was a tragedy, but today we begin to rebuild. You know, I always talk about Atlantic City is the ultimate uh, comeback story. We're resilient, and, you know, we fall down, but we get up. And today was one of those days we got up, the sun was shining, and now as a community we came together to clean up the pieces, and now we just got to put it back together again, and it's still uh, – confidence that the city of Atlantic City, as soon as this pandemic is over, is open for business or, if, you know, whenever it's safe to do so. And uh, my administration is going to be right there every step of the way. Well, and that's uh, the, the follow-up to end uh, everything, because I know you're very, very busy and uh, everybody's over there doing their part to clean up, which is what do you expect in terms of the summer here in Atlantic City? Uh, do we have any more information? Do you feel like, uh, you know, the casinos and the restaurants will have – uh, you know, local people back in them soon. Yes, well, you know, there are reports that, you know, the governor is optimistic, you no know, later than the 4th of July, opening the casinos, you know, at, you know, some sort of opening, not a full-blown opening. You know, what does social distancing look like in the casino? What does it look like in the restaurants with the profit margin being so low? Um, you know, how does that work? Um, you know, what other issues are going to happen in the department? I mean, in the... Uh, um, casinos to uh, to affect that. Does visitors have to wear masks and gloves while gambling? Um, all of that, all of that is going to be shaken out. Um, that's a state decision. I made the decisions on the things that I could control, such as opening short-term rentals, Airbnbs, um, you know, other online marketplace, and our hotels. So we wanted to do it by phases. We did that. We uh, started staying in the hotels uh, Friday. We always kept our beach and boardwalk open, so now we're waiting for the next phase. All right, Mayor Marty Small uh, over in Atlantic City where the cleanup is continuing. Many community volunteers were out there cleaning up trash from the looting and uh, obviously taking steps to get the city back up. And as you mentioned, uh, reaching out to these business owners, hopefully – that's another thing that concerns me is these businesses haven't been open, Mayor. Is could they can they handle that and then this? That's that's the concern. Yes, well, and 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 that's the thing. Like I told them, you know, that people should have kept in mind that a lot of their nieces, nephews, or cousins, or you know, our youth work at the walk during the summer. There's some college students that work at the walk who now you know may not have as much money to pay for their books due to stores happening not only deal with the uh, pandemic, but also deal with, uh, you know, these heinous activities yesterday. So, you know, we just got to get it together. All right. Uh, Mayor uh, of Atlantic City, Mayor Marty Small here on uh, the Boardwalk Honda Hotline, uh, giving us a quick update on everything happening in the city. As you said, it's the uh, Atlantic City, so goes the state. So uh, we appreciate your efforts. Okay, no problem. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Marty Small here 
on the Sports Bash Live. And, uh, you know, that's refreshing to hear that people were out there, the community. I'm seeing videos out there of people cleaning up, getting the place back, and hopefully turning it back around.